Can never be long enough for me To feel like I've had long enough with you Forget the world, now we won't let them see But there's one thing left to do Now that the weight has lifted Love has surely shifted my way Marry me The day and every day Marry me If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe Say you
got power. Tell us a little bit what you did here today, please. I came to Russell with my daughter, my beloved, having a wedding. And uh, I'm very grateful and uh, for a day like this. You, what are you waiting for her? I'm just waiting for uh, God has already ordained it. God uh, uh, already ordained today and uh, it's not man made. What a piece of advice you're going to give them as their journey together today? Wow, well, this is wonderful. Uh, God has been wonderful. And, uh, we'll say what God has joined together. Mark and put us on that. But what a nice uh, advice you're going to give the husband as today they go to be together. Number uh, one advice, uh, generally I would say, one, uh, always depend on God. One is, uh, you know, always uh, uh, as a father, not just a husband. See, we, we, we still as a father, as a healthy house. And generally. Do you live in Hamburg? No, I came from Berlin. Uh, how do you relate with, with them to live all the way from Berlin to come? Uh, wow, well, this is wonderful. It's a wonderful question, and uh, it's my beloved daughter, and uh, it's my pleasure to be here. And uh, I just, just so excited to be part of it, you know. Tell us your name again one more time. My name, uh, uh, Madi God Power. I say, God bless you in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you so much. Merci. Nous sommes ici à la haute du film. How do you feel? Je me sens très bien. Je suis très contente pour Peggy, le fait qu'elle se marie. Je suis très heureuse pour elle. Bien qu'elle ne comprenne pas ce que je dis, mais elle sent ce que je suis en train de dire. Il freue mich pour Peggy. Il freue sich auch. Und wir werden heute eine gute Feier. Qu'est-ce que vous lui souhaitez? Je lui souhaite du bonheur, rien que du bonheur. Viel Glück. Viele Kinder. Ja. Was du bitte Gott für heute, für Elle, für sie? Für heute? Ich bitte Gott, dass alles gut läuft, dass alles so läuft, wie sie sich das vorgestellt hat, dass kein Stress ist, dass sie den Tag heute genießt, weil heute ist eine Tag, ihre Tag ist. Ich spreche Fernando Deutsch. Aber wenn du hier in Hamburg kommst, es gibt viele Freunde, viele Freunde von Elle. Warum hast du dich entschieden, wie die Mädchen von Paulo? Ach so, warum? Que je dis en français En Deutsch. Wieso Weil wir uns schon lange kennen. Ich kenne ihre Schwäche, ich kenne ihre Probleme, ich kenne sie seit lange. Auch wenn sie gar nicht sagt, ich weiß, was sie macht. Deswegen hat sie mir ausgesucht. Und wir kennen uns schon Jahr, Jahrzehnte. Deswegen. And how you feel? <laughs> Good. She's a big masculine. Elise Sombrine. Congratulations. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Peggy. Tell us a little bit what you did here today. Ah, today is my wedding day, and uh, my friends are just trying to make me look beautiful. Are you going to wait with who? I'm going to wait with uh, my soulmate, my, my dream, my uh, perfect husband and friend, and my lovely heart. Tell us a little bit how you feel today. Oh, I'm happy. It was stressful. I long. It's like, oh, let's today come, let's today come. Today I finally come. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm happy and uh, I just want to go to church and see how it's going to be. I'm happy. Today, other ladies are watching you and they want to look a little bit baseball so that when they see their, their husband, they will know that this is the right home. Huh. Yeah, they are watching me. I just uh, want to wish all of them a good luck. And I pray that those that are looking for husbands today, uh, maybe they will find their partner. If not, they shouldn't give up. There's hope. Uh, I waited for a long time and I got my soulmate. And I believe with God, everything is possible. They should always put God first. Um, whatever they do when they ask God for it and it will come to pass. So I wish all the single ladies a wonderful day today and I hope they find their husband and uh, they invite me to the wedding also. And what a nice promise you have for your husband. Ah, my husband. Yeah, I promise my husband will be a good wife, which I've never been. Take care of him, have fun with him and uh, Live a better life with him. Oh, there's a promise him. And many children also. 
Yeah. And uh, what do you wish you have said? I wish myself a happy marriage life. I should have fun in the, my matrimonial home. That God should bless this marriage with children. That this marriage should be a blessing and uh, it's in the always live to tell our children. And what uh, your prayer towards a man of God who going to wait you today? Through the man of God has going to wed me today. I believe God is going to use him. That is going to be a very powerful marriage. A marriage that is ordained by God. And I believe he's not going to be there just uh, alone. I believe Holy Ghost is going to be there with him. He will just be there physically. But I believe Holy Ghost is going to take control of him. And it's going to be a great thing. This I found really believe. Today is 26. Yeah. And what is your happiness? Why do you choose today? Why I choose 26? I don't really know why I choose 26. It was just a day that came up, so I believe it's God that chose it for us, not we. So, 26. So, we are happy. So, it's a day we we'll always live to remember and uh, tell our children. Watching deep inside the camera, you can see your husband watching you. Call his name and tell you how much you love. <laughs> Yes, boy. I love you, baby. You know I really do. So take care. See you later. Bye bye. Yeah. Tell me your name again one more time. I'm Peggy. You say, May God honor you, honor His name today in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank thank you,
I don't want you to go You know you always make my But I can't be your lover You know I really dig your Baby, we've got to take it Do everything to make me But I can't be your lover Don't know what to do I'm scared of getting my heart broken, boo And if so, it's not replaceable Cause now you are fine help me make up my mind
times of trouble, the order will finish. The groom is here with us. Let us give a clap offering all to the Lord. We cannot proceed without the most important, the long awaited bride. Let us shout hallelujah as she comes in.
How great is the Lord? Can we give a clap of friend again out to the Lord? My brothers, my sisters, there are three important occasions in a man's life, in a woman's life. The day to born, the day to marry, and the day to die. Amen? Amen. And the most important of these three is the day to marry. Because you are, as an individual, partaking in this occasion. So this is the most important day in the life of these two people. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? There are a lot of special numbers to entertain you today, so don't be in a hurry. The choir, they are ready to give us their special number. But before we proceed, let us bless this occasion with an opening prayer. And I call on the, our pastor for that. Because you are so good. You are wonderful, excellent is your name, great is your faithfulness. Lord, because of you, we are here today. Lord, would you pray because you are the beginning and you are going to be the ending of this day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, there is no that is committed unto you that is not safe and secure. We commit the service of the day into your hand that it will take preeminent in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we invite you. Come and take your place. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise and worship. But not this time around, very brief.
clap offering unto the Lord. We just want to inform you that what you have seen now, just now in the praise and worship, it is just a sample of what you will see in the reception. If you believe that, give a clap offering unto the Lord. So we are looking forward to seeing you there. And as you are coming, get ready to rejoice with us. Get ready to dance with us. Amen. Get ready to celebrate with us. And God will richly bless you. Amen. 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 We call on the choir now to give us their special number.
praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Marriage. A life journey. A life journey. That is to say, marriage is meant for life. Did you understand this? Yes. Marriage is meant for life. It's not a matter of I jump in, oh, I jump out. Now, it's a life journey. For Peggy, for Desma, be attentive. Marriage is a life journey. And later you shall be engaging yourself in vow. Then you understand that it's only like death that can separate both of you. Apart from death, there is nothing on it. No matter what you think, no matter what you see, no matter what you feel, it's not allowed. Because God says, I hear that voice. That's all. Final. No matter the excuse you're going to give for your action, God is not in it. Amen. Marriage, a life journey. I want to reacquaint you again. In first Genesis, Genesis number one, that's first Genesis. In first book of Moses. We want to read 26 to 27. Genesis chapter 1, 26 through to 27. And God said. Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fishes, the fish of the ocean of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. Father Almighty, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Jesus, because the entrance of the world gives you life. We come unto you, Lord, this day, Lord, to hear your word. Speak to us as your dear children. Not only that we hear you today, who hear it and be a partaker of it, or be the doers of it, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Almighty, let your word settle in our hearts. Be a fruit of the kind. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So God created male and female. Alright. I'm also happy to announce to you that I have male, male and female standing before me in this ceremony. Amen? Amen? Am I in error? No. Okay. I know Sister Peggy, you are a deaf man. As a man, as a woman. And that's how God made it. The man and the woman in matrimony. Amen. Amen. The marriage, a life journey, is the first and the oldest institution known to man. It dated back to the creation and the garden of Eden. Praise God. God himself performed the first marriage ceremony. He also gave the first wife, the bride. He had the bridegroom. Hallelujah. When we read chapter 1, chapter 2 of the same Genesis, you will see his helps. How God himself conducted the first marriage. Heaven on earth. Thank you, Jesus. God formed the world as did fit unto him it was love, it was a lovely home very beautiful fit for inhabitation and then he found out that Adam was lowly because he created Adam first Adam was lowly and then he now found the need to get somebody to accompany him hallelujah that was how he came to sin. Amen. So God never made a mistake. He could have as well make a replica of another man. 
or rather he chose to you make a replica in the form of a woman. Amen? Amen. So for those who think a man-to-man -man affair is also a part of life, I am announcing to you that you are in error. Yes? Did you hear that? Yes. Okay. Without missing word, it is against God's ordinance. And God will not be happy seeing you in that manner because you are disobeying Him. He created a man and a woman. That is God. And that's how God wants that relationship to be. Thereafter. Praise God. And then what happened? God proceeded by saying, let us make a man in our own image on this sixth day. Great. And then what happened? In Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, let's see what happened. After the loneliness of Adam, after some time, God now see the reason why something had to happen to keep the man warm. Amen. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Hallelujah. It is not good for, and God said it is not good for the man that he has created to be alone. And then he made and help me meant for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is it that was made for him. You understand the, the greatest surgeon on earth is God. The first surgeon on earth is God. In a like manner in which God acted. For him to comfort, the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And then God operated on Adam. And out of the, uh, during the, after the operation, he got out the, way, the ring of Adam. And with that ring, he found a wife, a woman, Eve. Praise God. And thereafter, he closed it up. Amen? Amen. Amen. That was the formation of a man, of a woman. And then Adam decided to call him woman. Because out of me, he came. Praise God. That's a miracle that's above human understanding. Yeah, that a rib was taken from Adam and a woman came from. That's a miracle above understanding. Above human comprehension, praise God. If you start to question or you want to investigate how it happened, you will not get it. Because it's a mystery. A God, only him is able to do that. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. All right. And then, if you watch out and if you want to get to the, uh, the explanation of the mystery, how God formed Eve out of Adam, 21 to 24 of the same uh, chapter, you will see. And then after, after God formed Eve out of Adam, he brought it to Adam, and as Adam now said, oh no, I'm happy, I'm now contented, I am now complete. This is no longer something else, it's the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, it's not surprising, it's not new, it's not strange, that uh, Brother Desmond is wanting to go into that situation, same situation and to have a comfort, I mean a companion. Hallelujah. He's not in error to seek for a companion. And for as many that I hear this symbol this afternoon, it's not an error for you to seek for a companion. And when you are seeking for a companion, let it be a woman. Uh-huh. Oh my God. You are not getting the story. If you are looking for a companion, let it be not a man. Yeah? But rather who? Okay? And as a woman, if you are looking for a companion, let it not be a woman. A woman. But who? Woman. Hallelujah. Because that makes you what God makes you. Because God Almighty is your Father. He laid an example which every one of us must follow. The footsteps we must follow, and then we are happy following such footsteps. If you go the wrong way, I assure you, you regret. I pray that you will be up in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 
the flesh of my flesh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife and shall be one flesh, no more two. If you read Matthew chapter 19 verse 5. Hallelujah. Amen. Quickly. Matthew chapter 19 verse 5. And he said, for this cause shall a man leave a father and a mother and shall cling to his wife. And they twin, they who were once two, shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twin, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Praise the living God. Marriage, a life journey. In a journey that is ups and down, a journey. You experience a lot of things when you are journeying. See that you fall short of water on the way, or you forgot your some precious thing at home, or you meet with some occurrences in the way. Somebody decides to uh, belittle you on the way. There are a lot of things you see on the way. But in all, if you quit your journey, no! Or is there anybody because you want to go to, you say you're going out to United you know, States for a business, right? And then something happened on the way that does not go away to you. You quit that journey? No. Somebody insulted you on the way. You quit that journey? No. You were you you you, you, you were late on the way. Yes. You know. <laughs> I am sure he sang this song. <laughs> Hallelujah. He turned everywhere, no one. And then when he saw her in the United States of God. About it. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> Tell me, is it true? <laughs> because he has come to see. No, no, he has come up to see. <laughs> Hallelujah. He found no one else. But fans is the begging. Hallelujah. Alright, this is now the current situation in man, with man. The first time God sought out for a woman for Adam, right? And then man disobeyed. Amen. Man disobeyed God by eating the forbidden fruit, and then he regretted God having the, having given a woman to Adam because Adam started accusing God. The woman that you gave me eh, has caused me to fall. Ah, have I done anything wrong? to have given you the bone of your bone or the flesh of your flesh. Okay, I understand. God never made a mistake, there's a reason for it. You know? God never created you as a robot. No. He created you with understanding, with wisdom, with your hands, with your eyes, with your legs. What are they meant for? To work, to function. Alright, to make choice, to make yeah, things happen. Hallelujah. That is why God said, no hate fault, you go search for. Hallelujah. That was the reason why Desmond goes searching for. Uh, she landed, he landed in Hamburg. Not only in Hamburg, because Hamburg is big. The most beautiful city in the world. Amen. I'm proud to be a hamburger. <laughs> Today, 
Hallelujah. It's a struggle. It's a struggle to let go. You know? And ah, this is mine. This is mine. You know that is the spirit of children. Possessiveness. This is not children. This is my own. And the man is uh, building a house in Africa. The woman is not even aware. Is that transparency? No. Uh-huh. He's having he is having one condo that is being open somewhere in that name. The wife is not aware. Is that transparency? No. no. Marriage is a journey. You see, you are no longer two, but one flesh. Hallelujah. So the same thing with the woman. Before ever you want to do it, ah, my honey, should I do this? Yeah. Yeah. That is the example we learn. Abraham and Sarah. Is the example we learn, the Bible standard, he was the man is the head of the house, just like Christ is the head of the church. The man is the head of the home. You are only man. That's the man. Huh? Is that, does that go well with you? Yes. Come on, yes. I'm happy to hear that, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When you want to get married and you are assuming the duty of the man, tell the woman, change. After he had shoot me, no problem, but that's the truth. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man is the head. The woman is not a slave. Don't misunderstand this. You are a helper. And for any man also who uses the wife as a possibility, you are a creepy. <laughs> yeah? This is not for this one and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh no matter what, you are always sweet. You are this wonderful. Even when but well, well, thereafter, this one you are saying that is elegant now, the time will come, everything will be. <laughs> For better, for worse. For better, for worse. Hallelujah. Be transparent, please. Transparent, do your best. God helping you. Be truthful to one another. Live the truth and go into Hammer Bro. Let it be Hammer Bro. Let your wife know. Let your husband know this. That's what enjoys big, big enjoyment in marriage. Hallelujah. Please. We cannot exhaust this all, we cannot finish everything. But as you go on this journey, and you know God Almighty is going to encourage you, going to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. I've told us that God should be quick to apologize. Don't forget this, but fast to forgive. Hallelujah. Quick to apologize, fast to forgive. Be truthful to one another, live a transparent life, live a holy life, live a clean life. See God as the center of your home. See God as the center of your home. And never allow issue to linger on. Hallelujah. If there is any reason to have misunderstanding which is allowed, eh? yes. that would say be annoying. But don't allow the sun to go down your anger. Annoyance is not a problem. But the product of annoyance is the problem. We are human beings wrong with flesh and blood. Right? You can be annoyed. Never will both of you go to bed to sleep, leaving a matter unsolved. Back to back. God forbid. That is not marriage. Once the devil is trying to suggest that in, that both of you are in the bed, you are turning your back to one another, say, devil, you are a liar. This is not what we intend for. What we intend for us.
thank you. Righteous Father, we bless your name. We give you all the praises and all the honor. We thank you for being here in our midst. Father, we pray that your presence will never depart from us. We decree and declare. And as we are gathering here today for this wonderful marriage ceremony, Father, I pray that any demonic transaction, any transaction from any corner of this earth, under the water, in the sea, that we walk against this spirit today shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, Lord, that this marriage shall be for signs and wonder. We use this opportunity to bring to your hand, O oh Lord, those that are already in marriage, that their marriage is sinking. Lord, arise by your power and correct them in Jesus' name. Amen the spirit that is not of God, that is here right now. Hear the word of the living God. We decree the grant to open and swallow them up. In the name of Jesus. Cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Shine you, King of Kings. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A clap of renown to the Lord. Is called I am. 
Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful occasion yes, between our brother, brother Desmond, and our sister, sister Peggy. This is the time we have been waiting for. Oh, the brother said that there are three important occasions in life. The day you were born, the day you are getting married, and the day you will die. Today, Lord, we are witnessing the greatest day of your life, which is the day of getting married. May heaven, O oh God, fashion this occasion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your amen wake up your testimony. I say, may the Lord Almighty sanction this occasion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, what can we do without you? I know that your journey has come thus so far. But you have made the day to come to fulfillment. May this day be a glorious day in the name of Jesus Christ. As they were about to take an oath, I pray that heaven will back all their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There shall be no reason to regret. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, I am that I am. Amen. For we are praying in a name that is above every other name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. If you are here because of these lovely people once, Put on stand on your feet in respect of the Almighty God and for this one you have come to honor. I mean everybody in South should stand on his or her feet. Amen. Amen. Friend, we are assembled here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses. To join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable instituted by God and adored by our Lord Jesus Christ by His presence, the first miracle that He wrought in Cana of Galilee. It is commented by the Apostle Paul. To be honorable among all men. And therefore, it's not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, soberly, and discreetly. Amen. Amen. The Holy Scripture set before you the love of Christ for his church as an example for your devotion. You are not left without guidance concerning the meaning of that love. These are the words of the great apostle. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable, irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong. Believe all things, hope all things, and be all things. Love never ends. If you go to First uh, Corinthians chapter 13, you will see this admonition. Praise God. Hallelujah. In as such a union, you come now to be joined. Right? If either you, you, or any of you over there present, no any just cause why this marriage should not be solemnized. I charge you to make it known at this time or thereafter to remain silent. Is that any reason that is known to you with the proof? Why, Brother Desmond, you don't go with this woman home today? 
Now you have many reasons why. Sister Peggy, you said to Brad Desmond, no. Or, if she had jitted you and you are there, you have a right to say anything. If he has not jitted you, you have a right to say anything. But thereafter, you have no right to talk again. Anybody? Anybody? Let's shout hallelujah. Shout the bigger hallelujah. The bigger hallelujah. Let's say we are in order. Yes or no? Yes. Amen. Go ahead. Hallelujah. We've experienced uh, we about this one before, but that is not uh, no, no more new. She never failed from heaven like that. She's responsible to somebody, and somebody has given her the marriage. Amen. Yeah. I'm there. Now we start with my brother, because he's the head of the house. You will now talk to me your heart. Before, the, before this honorable witness and before God, what is in your mind? Hallelujah. Do you look this face? Yeah? Look this face. Do you, Brad Desmond, take this woman, Sister Peggy, to be your lawful wedded wife? Yes. Oh, it's too fast. <laughs> That's correct. I love this. To love, to cherish, to have, to hold, forsaking all others, to keep yourself to her. Only so long as both officially. Yes, I do. Amen. Amen. Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I do. Amen. 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 All right. All right. Sister Peggy, look at this face very well. If it is person you have been seeing, do you, Sister Peggy, take this man, this man, to be a lawful wedding husband? To love and to cherish and to have and to hold and to forsake all other men to keep yourself to him only as so as you go to live yes i do god help me yes i do with god helping me hallelujah because without the help of god we cannot do you believe that yes. hallelujah so now you say this after me, but this one. I this one. I this one. Take. Take. You Peggy. You Peggy. Look at this face. It's not there. <laughs> yeah? All right. Give me your hand. Give me your right hand. Right this is right? Okay. Alright. That is correct. Yeah? Alright. I pay a desk one. I desk one. Take you, Peggy. Take you, Peggy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do promise. And I do promise. And covenant. And covenant before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your lovely and faithful husband. In plenty. In plenty. In want. In want. In joy. In joy. In sorrow. In sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. Does that go well with you? Yeah. And in head. And in head. As long as we go shall live. As long as we go shall live. Super. I, Peggy. I, Peggy. Take you, Desma. Take you, Desma. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise and come now. And I do promise and come 
Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty. In plenty. In want. In want. In joy. In joy. In sorrow. In sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. Does that work with you? Yeah, sure. In health. As long as we go shall live. As long as we go shall live. Amen. 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 Right. You see what we were starting to say it's not a it's not a, a child's play. Kindergarten is out of this. And I know they are mature enough. They know what they want. That's why they are talking to us the way they are talking now. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are here to witness their vow and their commitment to one another. We will not be there to witness anything contrary to this. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. From this month. Okay. Do you have any any seed or any token? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. Here's a ring. Symbolizes what? Endless love. Is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. So we are right. Amen. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe this is for you later. Uh, maybe this is for, for you later. Amen. Praise God. We're going to bless this ring. Father, Lord Almighty, we thank you. Pastor, stretch it up on this ring. Hallelujah. Thank you for this special token that is before uh, the children. Lord, if I we stand to your name this token, I pray God Almighty that as you wear this ring, to be peaceful for them. As you wear this ring, Father, Lord, they will be sweet in your heart. They will be happy all day long. If there's your journey, they will never regret it. Thank you, Father. We satisfy this ring in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Which one belongs to you? And which one is my wife? That's for me. That's for my wife. Okay. Take take that which belongs to your wife. Okay. Of their love 
for one another, which means there's no end. Amen to that? Yeah. And as much as you have agreed together to enter the holy right of wedlock, and have given and received the ring in token and pledge of your love. Single 
and barrenness, I break right in Jesus' name. Amen. Remain the head and never take. Amen. Spirit of submission, I bestow upon your daughter. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, a loving heart unto him. Amen. A loving heart unto her. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. to pass. Lord Jesus, you live it and you know where that today will be the day Brother Desmond and Sister Peggy will be joined together. And now Lord Jesus, they are no longer two but one. I commit my daughter in the Lord specially to your hands, O oh God. You will clothe our Lord with your beauty yes, Lord. and with your honor yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Children, we surrender to table, Lord Jesus. Father, when she call to you in the day, you will answer her. Yes. When she call to you in the night, you will answer her. Yes. Father, whatever she needs to keep her home, it will never be difficult for her. Yes, Surprise I stand today as a woman of God to bless you, Sister Peggy. To bless your home as a virtuous woman, you will excel. You will go forward in life. Men and women will never know your secrets. Your success is hidden in the hands of God. Thank you, Father, because our life is in your hands. So you be all the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's bow down our head for this couple. Now I am full with joy to give them this prayer point. Father, O oh Lord, from today, O oh Lord, set up your government in their marriage Amen. and establish your agenda in their home Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every effect in this marriage mm. before now mm. receive fire of correction Amen. in Jesus name. Amen. Everything both of you have lost mm. through improper mm. and incorrect marriage May the Lord restore them back to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every hidden potential yes. in this marriage before now be bring to manifest by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, give them a new and a divine turning point in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, make right every wrong thing in this marriage and give this marriage a new and a glorious beginning Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, O oh Lord, Amen. block this marriage Amen. to divine property Amen. and turn around Amen. their breakthrough Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You, the glory of this marriage, arise and shine Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavens of this marriage open to signs and wonder Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh God, 
Let the chapter of sorrow and slavery be closed forever Amen. in this marriage from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. by this marriage Amen. correction of today, may you claim testimony of better life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because they obey to place this marriage on the right foundation. Oh Lord, change the story of their life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anoint it to rise and shine again. Fall upon this marriage from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, oh Lord, let them receive the key of solution to every long, every long standing problem in this marriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anointed to rise and shine, fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Amen. The miracle that is the miracle that this marriage has been waiting for for a long time begin to manifest now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, I really have to be very grateful for these two couples, which is husband and wife, as the pastors have pronounced. They need to work out their marriage by themselves. You see everybody standing and celebrating with them. Those that are in marriage are both of them. And I pray that your marriage will never seek. Amen. Your marriage will never copy bad marriage. Amen. Any evil leg that wants to walk into your marriage shall be cut out by fire. Amen. I decree the blessing of God upon you. Amen. And I want you to say by yourself, the husband and the wife, after me, my marriage. My marriage. My marriage. Say to the congregation. My marriage. Because at the time they will be standing against you in this marriage, they will not say you don't hear. You hear what they are saying now. So it's not going area for evil woman or evil man. Please, beloved. Okay. I want you to say it loud and clear. My marriage. My marriage. My marriage. My marriage. Come out from evil location. Come out from evil location. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My marriage. My marriage. Reject evil friends. Reject evil friends. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My marriage. My marriage. Reject evil gift. Reject evil gift. And I use this medium to decree. And I use this medium to decree. Any evil gift. Any evil gift that anyone wants to put to my marriage, that anyone wants to put to my marriage, shall receive fire. Shall receive fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My marriage, my marriage, reject sickness. Reject sickness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My marriage, my marriage, arise and shine. Arise and shine in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My marriage, my marriage, receive your divine gift. Receive your divine gift in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My Again, we thank you. Thank you we give you all the praises and all the We stand against every negative power. Mm -hmm. Home destroyer. Amen. Destiny killer. Amen. Marriage killer. Amen. Oh, hear the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Today, you are failing this marriage. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, amen. amen. I have the time to present to you the newest couple at the time. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Enfako Mori.
Sister Peggy. Because you know what? If the children are growing, they are getting married, it's a blessing. If they are growing at their home, they are not getting married, it's a curse. And for this, we are grateful. And on behalf, my women president is not around, the assistant is not around, so it's falling back on me. There are other women, they are very busy right now. Peggy, today we are grateful that you're getting married, that you're married already. And we know that God Almighty will bless you. Amen. He will surprise you. Amen. As you, she is so dedicated to the things of the Lord. Peggy is coming to talk, she doesn't come late. She is there on the right hand. before. Thanks. Please. Sorry. Don't forget these three words. Thanks. Please. Sorry. This is very important. Sorry only if I offended you. Please. Thanks. When your husband does a thing for you, be appreciated. Any woman that appreciates gets more. Hallelujah. If you appreciate, you get more. So we have a gift for you today from the women, the entire women. This gift will build your home. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This gift is going to build your home. Amen. Every single woman of this church know how to cook. I'm proud of my women. We know how to take care of our husbands. And Peggy is one of them. And this one will take care of your home. Amen. You are blessed, brother. Still there, brother. Still there. This is for you. On behalf of the women, we are presenting this to you. That God Almighty will bless you, surprise you, and lift you up the more. And crown all your efforts and resources. God bless you. Congratulations. of the of God, we appreciate the wedding and the went accordingly. Everyone is very, very grateful. This is a wedding that you know God has been established. And according to his will, everything was perfect in order. So there's a token presentation which I want to give you. So they acknowledge everything that you did on their behalf. You are actually the judge and everything. So may God bless you. Amen.